All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle or Lee battle. Actually, the GDL or Geller Defender Leagues versus Doctor Slacking. And uh, before going in, um, this guy is such a good content creator, and um, I highly recommend you, if anything else, just check this guy out. As well, he is phenomenal for all the right reasons. Um, great editing, and uh, I don't believe his subscriber count as uh, equal to the quality he brings so i kind of want to shake him out do it he's awesome and they're very, very charismatic and um you guys see on both sides the teams we're going up against and with that said we're gonna press a and see what he decides to bring he's actually still communicating so clearly he has an intro on his own now i'm bringing a grass and glide variant of um Rillaboom. uh same with executor uh, <laughs> we'll see what we're going up against. Oh, we have a Diglett. Diglett is cool. Um, Diglett is absolutely here for one reason only. And I know exactly what that reason is. And that is to absolutely beat my... Um, <laughs> my um, toxicity that didn't make it. Now, one fun fact here is that we don't see his Mega Venusaur, which I heavily prepped for. So, um... I mean, basically, I have no idea how to, uh, <laughs> like, go up against this team naturally. Uh, I think it makes sense starting off with Rillaboom. Or even really, I can't bring in this as long as Diglett is active. I'm not trying to lose to Diglett. And if he, he can lock me in, so that's unfortunate. Ooh, it's not a great time. <laughs> um, damn. Damn. Damn, damn. Um. Damn, this is actually awful. Let's see, I can lead off with uh, Fade anyway, I think. And take it from there. Um. That Diglett will be annoying. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's actually like it's not super powerful, but just expu it's it's its existence alone. I can't speak is annoying enough, and I have no idea how I want to lead off with. The only thing I have like in perk for my side is a grassy light. It's actually quite annoying for him, and um, that's really all we need. Let's see, R two pick. That's a Pelipper. No, so that's good. So I can assume he could have ear lace, yeah, but most likely he's sashed. And could be carrying memento and stealth rocks. So um, a U-turn here, just to see what he wants to do. As a figure, uh, like a fair switch in, yeah exactly, is to bring in Ferrafawn here. Good, good play. Good play. So there's Aram Bobs, always nice to deal with them. And I can send in my Chandelor and set up a Trick Room, actually. Because he's not going to enjoy staying in. And the way I see it is only like real switch-ins are... Um, well, back to Dillet, of course, to preserve that Sash and uh, Pelipper. So Leftovers, nice. It's not Akaberry, so we actually could, if we want to, knock him out if we want to. Um, a bit of a shaky connection, and I think it's actually just on my side. We had basically a one hour issue to be able to connect with this game. And it was only me. <laughs> I had such an issue getting this connection to work. So, right, there's a drizzle, nothing to it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the way I see it, I wish I had Shockwave right now, but we won't be able to kill him for that. So we're actually going to bring in Belorg, which um, theoretically can't do too much, but basically I don't want... Chandler is not necessarily that effective, at least not yet. I do believe Shadow Ball does a whole lot, but uh, he's not going to KO. 
And if we go for a skull, I'm pretty sure... Um, I'm pretty sure my Alolan Segito can be a bit of a pressure. He does kind of think about this, which is nice. By the way, great nickname there on Chandler. So we're gonna frisk the damp rock, cool. And we'll see Wither Ball. Which is good, like heavily resisted. So, um, easy grass little glide here. Hmm, right, hard switch out, cool. To Rosebush. So right, Iron Bob is going to be annoying. The Grass Glide should do nothing anyway. Nice, I love Iron Bobs. So right, he's right now theoretically slower. But I have Citrus Berry and um, I have Low Kick. So um, we can do some good damage here. See what it wants to do. That's right, we don't outslow him, which is unfortunate, but uh, then again, kind of looking at something like that. A low kick does the right. Because I can always defy with Cliff Key. Right now, I kind of want the hazards to go away. Or well, not the hazard, but uh, the grassy terrain. Alright, let's see. Another low kick from the road. I know he doesn't enjoy switching into these. Right, switches out, that's fair. Goes to Nigel. I think my terrain is over, yeah. I think I'll go for another one. Even if he U-turns or more likely hurricanes. Yeah, there you go. I think we take this. Ooh, yeah. That was stellar. <laughs> Alright, let's try this one more time. I mean, I'm, I need more damage on this, but I need my, f like, three sword stands on, um, versus Diglett. Which I'm pretty sure is to have Memento. So let's see, he could U-turns, or he could U-turns, he could U-turn. Hurricane, good. No, I don't want to be stuck versus Diglett. I really don't. Because um, I can't beat it. Ah, oh, let's do it. Let's do it. I still theoretically stall out his um, turns anyway off. Um, right, hall switch. To rose bush, cool. Hmm. 
rain stopped and we will see leftovers. So right. Oh, this connection. <laughs> I'm getting nervous just to see us not like getting to play. Let's see, getting myself a reflect. And uh, I assume he wants to just has it up. Knock off. That's cool. So did a knock off though, which is kind of cool. Lose love and bug over light screen eater. So we've seen um, knock off. We've seen. Um, I don't think we've seen anything else. Spikes. Yeah, so spikes, knock off. What do these guys usually carry anyway? Right, defog. Kind of surprised not to. Haven't seen. Um... Right, defog. Nice. Um... I might actually be able to keep Cliffy around. Let's see. There's a knockoff again. Right, no hassle now, and I think I showcased like my whole set already. Um, so the bigger question is, we haven't seen him do anything like up there. So. It's a no lose play actually going to Chandelure anyway. Because we're always out speed anyway. I'm actually gonna bring in Belog as I can always like get my harvest kicked in. I wanna know what he's thinking. I, I had multiple ways of potentially dealing with this. But this is not my strongest one. I'll give you that. Let's see. Knock off. I haven't kicked in the harvest yet, so we're actually fine. Harvest still hasn't kicked in, so... Low kick. As I want as much damage as possible. Yeah, nice. Is a jar ball. Cool, cool. Kind of waiting on that one, really. Um, so, right. Um, bring it, fade. Only thing I really hope he doesn't have is uh, um, Thunder Wave. We'll see what he decides to do. I really hope he switches out. I mean, at least he doesn't enjoy this matchup, which is kind of nice. Right, just decide to hard switch out to Nigel. I mean, I still got a grassy line no matter what. I can't risk it versus this. And I think Veraphon should be a switch in every time because it's such a stressful situation to be at. Yeah, there we go. And I think it still should do quite all right. Yeah, yeah, we're good. That was a crit. I was like, damn, cool. That is actually quite a lot. 
and we will follow that up with um, a low kick. Really wish like a terrain extender or anything like that, but that's that's not happening. Really hope he stays in. He should scout though, every time. We'll see what he decides to do. He's really thinking. Which is fair. Right, so hard switch out. That's the right call. To Nigel. Cool. A low kick will do nothing. And I mean, I just keep going, going back and forth on these two plays. Attack what is in front of me because I think everything else just screws me over. <laughs> Thing is, though, like Pelipper is absolutely in range where I would consider Sard, like where Chandelure could potentially deal with it. Um, you always need to kind of preserve it anyway. Uh, goes back to Rosebush. Here goes the Grassy Glide. Those arm bars are not all, not all annoying. And I believe the terrain ends here. For me. Oh, it looks like we have one more turn here. Fine, let's go for another grassy glide then. I think he lured me long enough. I can always reset this, which is great, but um, it is at a cost after all. Right, this time I stayed in. What a mad lad. <laughs> Retaliate with Jarball. Nice. Oh no. <laughs> this guy just gets me. Alright, this time actually you turn. If he wins, he wins because he does the smart plays. Now I expect Pelibur to come in. Uh, I do, but I think U-turn still gives me a bit of a lead room. But I kind of need my setup on Halucha somehow. And that is not going to come unprovoked. Versus Pelipper, I actually hard switch and go into... Uh... Oh, damn it, like I had... He, he played this good, didn't he? Like... <laughs> it was just not about attack what was in front of me and he just... He did it. He did it well. And eventually got the play right even on my non-prediction. Right, like I said, here probably comes Pelipper. And, uh, oh, alright, cool. That's alright. Bring it down to the Sash. Oh no, actually just straight up sack play. Cool. I wonder what set that was. But yeah, I'm, I'm provoking whatever he has now. The way I see it is only like real play should be Ferrafone. Or even this.
right? Going for reflect first, hope it isn't earth power. And if it's earth power, then you know he clearly got his play right. Substitute. That's kind of worse. Leftovers and substitute. Right, light screen. Hmm. That's actually kind of interesting. And stealth rocks. Okay. I'm not too worried about stealth rocks. Yet. So I figure Earthquake and um, Filler, basically. So I'm going to defog and then send in my... Um, I have no idea, actually. All right. He made up his mind. Hmm. Because he can, in theory, just stall out those turns. Should be on no lose play for him. Right, sitting in fade. Not to sack it, however. We'll see if he decides to uh, retaliate directly. Or if he attacks, you know, he gets it right. Yeah, nice, cool. The bigger question is whether or not he's special or like physical. So I'm gonna send in guacamole. And we'll see his play is either like one of the, I really hope is physical, but more likely special. Slush wave, yeah, special. And there went my connection, for sure. All right. Um, I'll pause this and we'll see where we're at. Hold on. So, um, after some leveling with both me and Dr. Slacking, I actually decided to take a loss on this one. So I go and take a 5-5 five, five loss, even though I think I were in a position where I potentially could sweep, consider the situation I was in and my play was always going to be substitute and source sense versus this. Uh, Seismato, but even at that, I feel it's it's a maybe at best, and um, quite frankly, I decided actually to drop this league. So yeah, you won't see any more leagues from uh, the Gallery Defender League, and it has a lot to do with that um, I got a new position at work, and for what it's worth, I need to put my time and ambition where it matters and it's, the league takes a lot of hours to do right and I feel like disrespecting not only the league itself but also my opponents by not getting myself into these games the way I want to feel the passion, you know, feeling inspired to actually do things, I'm feeling more stressed out and that's where I know that you know I'm in the wrong place of doing something that I want to do and create more. Um, I won't say no to leagues from here on out, but definitely for a while 
I just want to take a step back and focus on the things that I need to do. I do enjoy, enjoy everything I do besides that, which of course are Wi-Fi bells, which are a lot more casual and um, doesn't give me a, the same amount of stress. But for leagues and more like high tier, uh, good competitors, um, I just don't want to do it. Um, I feel I lose so much and just get frustrated. And um, the six visit six formula, um, as now when you connect to LAN, is not helping. So, um, yeah, I'm dropping, and I think it is for all the right reasons. It's to really, really make myself a lot more happier and not as stressed out. And uh, with that said, make sure to check out, of course, my opponent's are slacking aside, which I feel I wanted to justify this game for him and really, really showcase, you know, I had more plans going into this game. But at the same time, we're both very busy men, and uh, it felt easier for both of us to just wrap it up here and continue through next week. So, with that said, guys, as always, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, we're, we're not a part of this league anymore, clearly. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for staying. Take care, everyone. Bye.